Hello, my name is Blake Terry. I'm in Computer Science 366 Introduction to Cybersecurity. This is my final project, a Facebook phishing website. So I've sent myself an email um, that looks like an email from Facebook with a totally legit Facebook login link here. I'm going to click that link as a user and get directed to what appears to be the legitimate website for Facebook. I'm going to enter some login information here. We're going to use the uh, email of testblake at email.com and my password is going to be password123. When I click login, now my Facebook fake Facebook phishing site is now stealing that login information and redirecting the user to the original legit Facebook page. Uh, so now that we've done that, I've captured the login information that I need. In order to verify that, we're going to go to my web hosting site and look at this log.txt that I've created. You'll notice the email that it's found is the testblakeadmail.com and the first five letters of my password were here. I've obfuscated the rest of the password for security reasons. Um, so that's how the demo works, just to see some of the background and some of the uh, information on how that works. I've got a, a PHP file here that captures the form that's posted through uh, the internet to Facebook. And instead of sending it to Facebook, it writes it to this file here. I also have a redirect HTML that I've created here that just simply redirects us to the right Facebook page once that PHP uh, file finishes. Uh, in order to get a public website, I had to use this HTML pasta page. I had some trouble with websites deleting my content because they were found to be phishing sites. Uh, this website allows me just a couple of minutes to be able to use that page that I need. Uh, and uh, that's how my phishing website works.